Now, the first pain that could mean cancer, uh, and I'm going to talk about today, affects 44,000 new people a year. All right? So we're going to do this by hearing from some of the survivors. Okay. okay. Let's hear it from the, the first survivor. Try to identify what cancer these symptoms she's, she, that she's talking about might be coming from. I had back pain, loss of appetite, and diarrhea. Back pain, loss of appetite, and diarrhea. So what kind of cancer would cause that, do you think? If I had to guess, I would say colon cancer. Colon cancer. Have you yeah. ever had anyone with colon cancer in your family? I haven't. I haven't. Let's hear what the diagnosis is, and she's going to give it to us. I had pancreatic cancer. Wow. Pancreatic cancer. So I'm going to explain, if I can, to you why pancreatic sure. cancer pain is of the type that we just mentioned there. Okay. So here's what the pancreas looks like. And the pancreas is located in the middle of the belly. Uh, and because of that, it can cause all kinds of different issues. Some of them are because it's supposed to function by doing something incredibly important. It's supposed to secrete a chemical into the intestinal system okay. that digests our food. Okay, so this is the pancreas. And that duct in there naturally allows us to secrete chemicals to take the food particles that we have. This, that, that's the this is food. And you're eating your food. Let's say you put it down there by the duct. So as you eat food, your body says, you know what? Make sure you digest it. And so you secrete all kinds of chemicals that allow you to digest that food. And very effectively, you'll see what happens. They disappear, right? Oh, now, wow. that food digests itself because of the pancreatic juices that it's sort of embalmed it, that's bathing it. So when you have a cancer that blocks this tube, that's supposed to carry that fluid out into the intestinal system to digest food, you put it in there, all of a sudden the fluid can't get from where it's supposed to be into the intestinal system. So instead what happens, and watch carefully, you get erosion of this material, and if that happens, wow. you end up with big, massive inflammation, a fire raging in your pancreas. You'll get all kinds of pain to the spinal column, to the nerves around your lower back, the muscles there, your colon, the intestines. Wow. Everything gets inflamed, this raging forced fire that's taking place in your body. And so you're basically eating yourself away from the inside. That's wow. what pancreatic cancer does. All right, Dr. Deborah Axelrod is joining us. She's a top oncologist from New York University's Langone Medical Center. So Dr. Axelrod, I'm suspecting every single person can hear my voice right now and says, my goodness, I've had back pain. Maybe I have pancreatic cancer. So how do they know the difference? Well, most, most back pain is muscle pain, but pain that persists, that escalates, that's not relieved by anti-inflammatory medications, jaundice, yellowing of the skin, yellowing of the whites of the eyes, mm -hmm. uh, greasy stools, Pale colored stools are all times to worry and to see a doctor. Make sense? Good. Right. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. I appreciate Thank it, you. Dean. All right, Catherine is joining us.